verdict in the case of Hollywood star Jonathan Majors. A jury has found him guilty of some charges in this New York criminal case, which stems, of course, from a domestic incident with his former girlfriend. Yeah, Majors is best known for his roles in Marvel films and TV shows, along with Creed Three. CNN's Elizabeth Wagmeister joins us now, along with CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Elizabeth, first to you, uh, what can you tell us about what he's been found guilty of? So Jonathan Majors was found guilty on some charges stemming from this domestic dispute. Now, this all stems from an incident that occurred in March of this year between Jonathan Majors and his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. They were in a car, and evidence that was released during the trial showed them outside of the car. Now, what Grace Jabari alleged is that Jonathan Major struck her in the head, also on her arm. There was a doctor who testified during the trial that said that she had a fracture on her finger. So he has been found on one count of assault and another with harassment and was acquitted on two other charges. And Joey, you're following this. What's your reaction to this verdict? <laughs> So the reaction is, is that the jury had a lot to evaluate and by finding guilty on some uh, charges and not the others, it means that in evaluating the testimony, Brianna and Bars, that there were some things that the jury credited and other things that they did not. It appears as though there was a guilty finding on what's called reckless assault. Well, what is that? There's a distinction between intentional assault, which means that it was your intent, it was your goal, it was your aim, it was your objective to assault, versus reckless. Reckless is the conscious disregard. It means the jury didn't make a finding that was intentional, but it was sufficiently reckless, right, such that the jury made a finding as to that. The jury also made a finding as to harassment, which is not a crime. It's simply a violation. A, a violation of law means that it doesn't rise to the level of a criminal offense. And just in terms of clarifying the parlance, a misdemeanor offense in New York State is a, a offense that is punishable by up to a year in jail, a violation punishable by up to 15 days. And so that's what uh, the judge will have to, come sentencing, evaluate whether there's any time at all that is going to be imposed. But that would be certainly uh, the parameters of any sentencing. Not there yet, but when we get there, what he'll be facing. Uh, Elizabeth, it's not just the, the sentencing that he's facing, but also uh, a huge fall in grace and in, in his reputation as, as a Hollywood star. Take us through his story because he, he was rapidly becoming a household name. Absolutely. And the fact that he was found guilty on some charges, no matter what he is sentenced to or not, as Jesse said, you're absolutely correct that now there is going to be some sort of fall from grace. Now, not everybody at home may know who Jonathan Majors is, but he was on his way to becoming an A-list star. Had he not been on trial right now, he would likely be campaigning for an Oscar. Earlier this year at the Sundance Film Festival, he had a film debut called Magazine Dreams. It got rave reviews. He could have been on the Oscar campaign for that. Now, perhaps even more important, he was cast as basically the future star of Marvel's next phase. He was cast as the character called Kang, who is a villain. He had already made his debut in this character, but had not yet debuted in his own film. Marvel was anchoring two films around him. We know that these movies can each make upwards of $1 billion, even $2 billion for one of the most recent Avengers films. So now Disney has a big decision to make. Do they keep him? Do they not? with two guilty charges, that is going to be very difficult. And I have to tell you, prior to getting this verdict in, I spoke to my sources and people in the industry are saying no matter what the verdict was, this is hard for a company, particularly like Disney, which is family friendly, to keep someone who has been accused and now found guilty of these charges. Yeah, very good point. I think we have much more to hear ahead on this. Elizabeth, Joey, thank you to both of you.